Hello. As always, I need to take my pills <laughs> right before starting. Also, probably not. I'm trying to get better about... Uh, okay, here's the thing. <laughs> I, I, I've mentioned this before, and again, I'm not... I'm one, one, I'm not wanting to phrase this as F these people, and two, I don't encourage any of you to adopt the, um, the viewpoint of F these people. Uh, but as, as I stream more and more, I, get, I see more and more frequent um, chats, comments, messages, stuff like that. Of people saying they hate how frequently I eat on stream because <laughs> they hate the sound of chewing extremely valid last time I brought this up I was like a lot of people keep saying like like keep asking me to stop eating on stream and then most people were like fuck them it's your channel and I was like well no let's not <laughs> but the point is unfortunately I've got plenty I've got like a little um, banquet of chronic health stuff that's been going on for the last year year and a half um, and it, the kind of like ringleader of all that stuff is migraines. Uh, if I get a migraine, I am basically just down and out for like three months and I cannot afford to have that happen again. So I'm like, especially paranoid about migraines all the time. I have like a lot of like really specific compulsive behaviors that I now have to do or I freak out about migraines. It's just kind of an unfortunate side effect of this whole thing is that, like, I might, I don't know, I'm now horrified of migraines. So, and, like, I, probably the most common trigger of getting a migraine is not eating enough. So, one of the, like, compulsive things I have to do is I, I have to eat something every hour. If I go more than an hour without eating anything, even just a snack, uh, I start to panic. So, I'm very sorry. So, basically, all of that to say incredibly valid people who wish I would stop eating on stream it's a gross noise a lot of times when I'm editing I'm like how do people put up with this um, so I totally get it I'm very sorry unfortunately <laughs> it's it's I'm gonna have to do it um, I'm, I'm gonna try and get better about doing it all in one burst or muting myself or whatever it takes I'm gonna finish this Danish here's an example I've got this slice of Danish I gotta finish so I'm gonna mute Look at that. Learning and growing. What kind of Danish? Cheese? Fruit? What if I said both? This is my favorite kind of Danish. It's the strawberry cheese one. It's like a cheese Danish. With a stripe of the strawberry through. If you feel. If you ever get a migraine slash headache, put your feet in hot water. Apparently it helps. I don't know how much it'll help me. That sounds like a cool idea that I'm willing to try. I don't know how much it'll help me because I have... I don't know what's up with my body, but for some reason I get like... My migraines are especially intense, and I have, like, a lot more symptoms than people usually do. So, usually while I'm having a migraine, I can't feel <laughs> with my limbs. So, I don't know if I... I'm sure it would still help my body, if, regardless of whether or not I can feel it. So, I will try that next time. Um, yeah, that's, it's, that's on my lengthy list of things that happen when I get a migraine. Vomiting. Well, the headache is normal. I, I can't see... Um, I get tinnitus, I vomit, I have the worst pain I've ever experienced in my head, and then I can't feel, and I get, uh, night terrors. It's the worst. <laughs> it's terrible. Hate it. And then I don't think shaking counts, because I think the shaking is just a result of the other stuff. It's my body, like, freaking out. I'm gonna keep eating this Danish. <laughs>
How do you live? Very well, because thankfully they're extremely rare for me. I only get usually like one or two a year. Only the house your migraines is sleeping. Painkiller. Exactly. Nothing lessens the blow. I've tried a million like prescription abortive or just abortive. I can't remember if it's abortive or abortive. Migraine medications. I've tried the trip tans. That kind of stuff. It's just I have to wait until I can fall asleep. Yo, Thumber went to the Stardew concert today and saw someone wearing your merch. That's so cool. I was too shy to say hi. That's awesome. I think you're too shy to say hi. That's it's not bad either. I would be. <laughs> I, yeah, literally, I saw someone make, wearing one of my shirts in public once, and I was like, this would be a great time to go say hi, but I was terrified, so I just hid. Also, this might sound weird. Are you the same uh, Unitunes that drew the, the that, um, that, like, fan art piece that, like, spawned the design of my guy's hoodie? That's me. I was talking about you a few streams ago. I can't remember if it's last stream or the stream before that. I don't know. At one point, I, I, I brought it up and said how cool it was that you deserve all credit for that hoodie design because you were the first to do it. That's very cool. I'm honored. I feel like there's a celebrity in chat. Okay, music's turning off. Um, where, what was I? Spirit Fair. Jesus Christ. Okay, y'all, same attitude as last stream. We are so far away from, <gasps> I'm gonna die. We are so far away from beating this game. It's actually a concern. So now we're just trying to play with max efficiency. So my, my, um, policy on backseat gaming has shifted slightly. For all plot-related elements, it is staying strict. Please, I am begging you, do not spoil. If I'm trying to theorize, don't confirm it, don't deny it. Throw me a smoker, no. Of, of anything. Cigarettes uh, are gross, and drugs scare me. <laughs> they scare me. Um, but anyway... Backseat gaming, if I'm, like, really, like, evidently going through it with, um, not being able to find a specific resource, like, knowing where it spawns, and you know, and I seem distraught, all bets are off, man, tell me. We're trying to beat this game. <laughs> this sounds disingenuous, but that's the kind of shit that will get cut out of the final video. <laughs> okay. We're only at 50%. Stream 8, man. God damn. Okay, I've got here a list in front of me of all the things I need. I can't remember for what exactly. I forgot to change my outfit. Um, Grey Mist Peak. Oh, it's probably for the next upgrade that we need to get to Grey Mist Peaks. We're letting Astro live her best life. Uh, we need a max and minimalist clock. And I've already planted the fire glow seed. Um, oh, I forgot we reordered. It's very cramped now. Okay. Um... Four gold ingot, another crystal glass sheet, and a rose gold sheet. Okay, yes. That's already on my list. So, I've got lots of things on my list. Let's start with the sheets. Uh, is there somewhere we're going to need to go? I'll wait. I'll wait until um, it's pretty clear. Did the bell ever ring? Nobody's walking around. Oh, you are. I'm sure you guys are hungry. All right, see you around. If they're hungry, they'll let me know. <laughs> I'm a good person. Are you sleeping? She can find something nutritious for me. I could probably. You like fine dining. No, you don't. You like exotic. I'm sorry. I'm embarrassed. Okay. Well, anyway. Uh, where? Here it is. Is this a cute outfit? Yeah, this thing's adorable. Can I make rose gold yet? I need to find gold. I need gold for like everything. Uh, crystal glass. This one's tough because I need seven. So I need five more zinc and five silica powder. Five silica powder I should be able to get very easily. I forgot we put the loudest machine in the residential zone. 
Um, okay. Silica powder is probably just crushed quartz, right? Oh, game audio is too quiet. Sorry, gang. I just noticed. Thank God I happened to look over. It's gonna be really loud for a moment, but that's good. Because we were playing Sonic 06 on uh, Friday. <laughs> that game is loud as all hell. Also, for the record, um, some of my favorite moments uh, ever in my streaming, my young streaming career uh, were from that stream. I watched back that stream like eight times and it was over. Because there's so, there are like so many things in that game that are so freaking funny. Um, I need five zinc. I don't think I have enough zinc ore for that. Where is the foundry? Here we go. I wish I had a cute little thing to put in here. Anyway. Um, I have enough. Just barely. Then I'll make my sheets. We need to find gold. I'm assuming gold is the resource is one of the resources that we can't get until we get the upgrade to get to the next area. That's my guess. I think it's gonna be one of the things that's past that like misty, misty zone that we need a mist cleaner for or whatever. So let's focus instead on the crystal glass sheets, the uh, ectoplasm silk fabric. We need six silver ore. I've got two. Let's go to the silver dragon. Okay. Silver Dragon's that one. So we'll uh, take the bus, I guess. We're gonna pass right by the... Why are my, my armpits... Every once in a while, my armpits will be like extremely raw for a little bit. Like inexplicably. And that includes right now. They're like burning like hell just from my arms being in my sides. I'm so confused. Anyway... Uh, what was I gonna do? Silk fabric. I need 16. What do I, like, how much do I have? Um, cotton fabric, linen fabric. I have six silk fabrics. Um, I need 16. Silk thread. Okay, well, let's get some more silk thread. I forgot how touchy this one is. Most of those felt perfect. That's crazy. Okay. Um, Had to happen eventually. Okay, silk fabric. Check. Cross it off. Now, take me. Take me away, man. Your music is annoying. It's catchy, but it's also really annoying. Done, see you, man. See you around. Your music is getting a little getting a little tiresome. All right, now three bottles of ectoplasm. What is? Well, how do you get that again? Bottles of ectoplasm. Bottled ectoplasm. It's probably one of those like little events because there's. It's um. It's one of these... Uh, you're not even going to look at the map until I sleep? Okay, whatever. It's fine. Yeah, then the name of the game is just going to be getting another spirit flower, which is... I think our next one's unfortunately going to be Astrid. Because we're just letting her live her best life, and she's almost done living her best life. Um, this is for Fire Glow. This is for Comet Rock. So I feel like it would be this. No, it's repulsor. How do you get ectoplasm, dude? Cause there's 
Use whack little like larva, but that's for nebula thread fiber. This is one of the times where if you know, please tell me. <laughs> Bottled ectoplasm. I thought it would be one of those regional ones, but I was mistaken. Lots of shores we have not been to somehow. Irina. Okay, well let's do the silver dragon. And go. Alright, everybody wake up. There's shit afoot. Hey man. Oh, you whore. Right when I got there, you asshole. Just give me my silver. Oh, you can't stay on it when that happens? I hate that. Okay, then I'll go over here. So I can go back. There we go. This is just like Minecraft. It is. I stopped going forward. There we go. <laughs> I'm playing a ton of 2K. And going from that game to like a normal, well made game is really tough. Uh, because that one, the input delay is wiener on everything. Alright. You can't get bot octoplasm yet. You need a spirit you haven't found. Oh shit! We need Stanley. Oh god. How do I get Stanley? <laughs> Fish. Like, do I have to fish in a certain spot, or is it just if I fish enough, I'll eventually fish up Stanley? I guess I have Yeah, I haven't been doing very much fishing, have I? I haven't been doing much cooking, so let me... Um, let's make something two ingredient for, um... Mickey and, and uh... Ronald. Okay. Potatoes and... Potatoes and... And flour. <laughs> what, latkes? You just have to fish around the Everdor slash Albert, I think. Are you okay? There we go. I thought so. Do you like fruit? You're neutral on fruit. We're gonna take a moment to check in on every... Okay, well, let me let me set a course, and then we'll, we'll go around and make sure we're doing all right. All right, let's go back to the Everdor slash Albert. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to do safe travel mode, and we're going to go straight there. So we'll go, like, to here, I guess. And then we'll just, like, fish on the way. Okay, let's check on everybody. Gustav, you're good. Um, uh -huh. Your gallery is really coming together, Gustav. Good job. Um, I forgot, uh, we have a cow. Here's some corn, and, and I would like your milk, please. Thanks, boo. You are too kind. Be a deer, and what feed you? Yes, I'm so sorry. Um, have I, did I already give you grilled fish? Perfect. And I'll also hug you. Because I love you. 
-hmm. I needed that. Ma almost max mood. Feels bullied by Mickey. Yeah, we all do, Astrid. It's fine. Hey, you're probably hungry, Bruce and Mickey. I don't remember feeding you, like, at all recently. Gonna need you to put him down, though. Gonna need you to drop him. Um, gonna need you to put him down. Gonna need you guys to... Okay. Thank you. Food in my belly. Now. Yeah, that's what I was trying. That's fine. Um, ooh, fish sticks. Oh, y'all would love pub food. Now we're talking. Some good chow, Scout. Pub food is the best when you eat the munchies. Make you sight. Dude, they're in a great mood. Oh, his old tail. I like you, Mickey. Bruce. Bruce, I'm not a big on, but that's okay. Um, okay, everybody's well fed. Um, let's go fishing. For a little while. Until we fish up a friend. There we go. I just haven't been really needing to fish. Well, because I've also just been really busy and food hasn't been a crisis for us. It's a mysterious seed. I'll plant that. It, it looked like it had a mushroom. Oh, it was the rocks. It was the rocks, guys. Don't worry. It was the rocks. Got it. Oh. <laughs> but that wasn't Stanley. Oh, maybe it'll grow into Stanley. Okay, well, I gotta know what this fish is. I don't think it's within my capabilities to catch this freaking thing, dude. God damn. Okay, that was annoying. Thanks, guys. I really appreciate it. I would have never. <laughs> uh, oh, and it's got to go in the other one. Ship my fire glows. So, all right, well, then I'll sing to it. Um, here we go. Done. <laughs> it's over. All right, we got our fire glow, as requested by, what, Beverly? Is that her name, Beatrice? It's one of the two. Mysterious seed. Should plant it in the garden quickly. Done. Um, get some turnips in this bitch. I love it. Okay. Bubbly, be a twist. B wood. I'm sorry. Uh, can I call you B word? Can I call you B word? Some beautiful, perfectly spicy flower glow. Flower, fire glow. We'll get there. Oh, what the heck? Can't keep it a. S oh, oh, what the heck? Can't keep it a secret for much longer. I couldn't tell the intonation from just that. That's fine. Remember when you first moved into the building? I'd been there for years. Sold the house a few months after David died. Kids were heartbroken at first. They were never there. They just wanted their old rooms to stay perfectly intact, I suppose. Well, back to you. Your fridge broke on the first day. Poor thing. Could tell you were broke and couldn't afford takeout. Remember what happened? Of course. That's right, I made you soup. Not just any soup. My favorite soup in the whole wide... Look at her little wings going. It was laksa. It was the first thing I ate when I moved into the big city alone. I moved there to be closer to my sister. It was quite the trip. It took a few days. Well, when I got here, my neighbor, Aranya, from 32B, invited me to dinner. Neighbors were friendlier back then. She served laksa. Oh, boy. She, she yammers, man. I had never tried it before, but I instantly fell in love. For a year straight, I must have invited myself to dinner at least once a week. Look how neutral 
my expression is. Look at look at Stella. Just like she's not even like she's not even looking down at her. She's looking like at the oven. Like oh shit, is that burning? Man, I gotta get out of this conversation. Hope I didn't overstay my welcome. Family was so nice. In any case, spicy food became my ultimate friendship test. If you can stomach it, then you can stomach me. And you passed with flying colors. Couldn't help you with your fridge, but I could keep you fed. My gift to you is Aranya's family recipe. I can't recreate it anymore. Well, that's not true. I just believe that at my age, I've done enough cooking for a lifetime. It's time to let someone else take the reins. If you cook a laksa, maybe we can share it. You just have to put fire glow and... Hmm... Fire glow and that delicious powder of grain. Sorry about that. Must have slipped my mind. You have to figure it out, I suppose. Watch flour. Corn flour. If I had a lox in front of me, I would remember. Wouldn't that be lovely? So, corn flour. How much time is left on this? Oh my god, look at how long this takes. Oh my god. Okay. Whatever. Um, hooray! For starters. Uh, for starters, hooray. I guess I'm gonna work on some sheet refining while my shit grows. Look. Found something. Thanks, man! We got our mysterious seed in there. Everything needs water. My sensitive ass tone would ruin our friendship. I never- I never thought I had good spice tolerance. Because I just, I've never been big on spicy food. I like never, if, if I have the option to get something spicy or the option to not get something spicy, I'll never get anything spicy. So I just never really ate much spicy food growing up and never liked it that much. So I assumed that, I mean, I didn't have a good tolerance. It turns out that my actual tolerance is great. I can handle like super spicy stuff uh, pretty well. As, as Especially for a white boy. For a white boy, my spice tolerance is really solid. Um... But yeah, it's a veggie pot pie. Oh, dude, Mickey and Mickey and, and Fuckface are gonna love that. Okay, do I have any corn flour? Not an ounce. I have milk. I want to cook something with milk. I can do milk and fire glow. I can do milk and sawdust. <laughs> milk. Oh, clam chowder. I only have the one clam. Oh, that's... Oh, but it's got shellfish in it. I was about to say, that sounds like pub food, but that's not shellfish in it. Milk and tea leaves. Milk and coffee beans. Milk and corn. I got to know. I've got to know. Got to. I'm probably just corn chowder. It's not recurring. Recurring? Occurring to me. Going to the hospital. What was I going to do? Corn flour. Don't worry, guys. We got there. Okay. Um, oh, wait. Corn. I should grow more corn because it's great to f for feeding animals. Which one's Mickey? Which one's Fuckface? Mickey is Mickey, and then Bruce is Fuckface. I I always had trouble remembering that in school, so I came with this mnemonic: uh, Mickey, Mickey, Fuckface, Bruce. My favorite Cavalier is Max Struess. It's not true. I don't really like Max Struess. <laughs> he seems like a fine person, but he put up a crazy game in game seven, game seven against the Celtics last year, so I'm bitter. Ta-da! We're going to make seven crystal glass sheets. This is going to take an excruciating amount of time. God damn. Ugh. You got to wait this long for each one. There's seven of them. This is annoying. I don't like it. High spice tolerance, low spice enjoyment. Yeah, same. Cause like I tried uh, those. Um, my friend got. My friend loves hot sauce, and for like Christmas, I think it was, he got um, a sample of all of the hot ones sauces for this season of hot ones. And like I don't know if you've seen hot ones, you know that like it ramps up and up and up until by the end it's like pretty much as hot as hot sauce gets. Um, and I, obviously it affected me heavily because it, it kind of does to almost everybody, but I handled it a lot better than I thought I would. Two. <laughs> God damn it. 
Okay, let me speak to this. Oh, well, it's, it's nighttime. Are you going to bed or can I talk to you? Stella. Mm -hmm. Munchkin, I am. I'm so tired. So old. I can't. Can't do it anymore. Can't go much further. We do me a favor? Please bring me there, sweetheart. Bring me to where it ends. Okay. Well, unfortunately, that'll give me the spirit flower I need. But at what cost? Darn. I liked Astrid. She was really freaking... She was kind of a prick for a little there. But besides that, she was lovely. <laughs> Ass turd. Alright, let's, uh... Turn on safe travel mode. Head over. To the other door. Good morning. Good morning, guys. Oh my god, food is ready. Holy shit, it took like two days. No, it didn't. No, it didn't. I forgot that I got the pie out already. Oh, it's a cereal. It's a bowl of cereal. That's gotta be comfort food, right? Or I guess plain. Wow, perfect timing. Just in time for Astrid to leave. Now I have all this plain food. That is... Yeah, her liking plain food was... This makes me sound like a terrible person, but that was my favorite part <laughs> about Astrid. Okay, fire glow and corn flour. All right, y'all. It's that time. Morning, kid. Morning. There was this one thing. Oh, yeah. Hit, hit me with the heavy trap beats at the ever door. Ascension type beat. I can see so vividly. Mickey was a kid. Young. Too young. Some piece of shit comes out of nowhere and hits me with a baseball bat. Didn't even see the shit stain. Body goes limp and hits the ground. Mickey is red like a tomato. Grabs the guy who's still hitting me with a bat, by the way. Throws that asshole on the side of a car. The windows shatter. Jesus. Guy has glass all over him. Screamed repeatedly. It's in my eyes. It's in my eyes. Blood's coming out of his eyes, and Mickey, well, he's just laughing. What a laugh. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Dude, I'm gonna die. I think it'll lull me to sleep. Okay. You ready to go? <laughs> I imagine like she overheard that conversation. And was like, all right, yeah, I think I'm definitely ready to go. Oh, he finally arrived. I feel so weak. Can we go now? Sure. Okay. Let's do this. I can't hold it any longer. I gotta pee. <laughs> Injecting some light fun into this game. This is very sad. Alright. Our The numbers on our ship are waning. We're down to Gustav, Bruce and Mickey, and Beverly. I can hear her coming. Yeah, there she is. <laughs> okay. Let's go, Astrid. I, I, your spirit flower is is one of my favorites. Real slim pickings now. Yeah, Beverly's, I guess, nice. I, I feel a lot more neutral on Beverly than I thought I would. I don't think it's wise to live that long, Munchkin. Good thing I've never been that wise. Boy, am I old. Being this old is disappointing. Just end up being ugly on the outside and rotten on the inside. And it hurts so much. Life... Remember, guys, this is the takeaway. Life is suffering. It is hard. The world is cursed. But still, you find reasons to keep on living. Red Sox play in about an hour, so there's mine. I don't regret a thing, you know. I don't regret the struggles. I don't regret the hardships, the pain, the sorrow. I've seen so much of it. But still, I don't regret what I've done or how I've lived my life. I just wish the world had been a better place better place for them for us but surely a better place for you my dear oh that's very sweet 
No reason to keep living. I need to outlive J.K. Rowling. Dude, hell yeah. I feel like a vast vessel with so many dusty rooms and cabins. I have so many of them. So many memories. Some of them are gone, but some of them... Some of them will live on forever. In you and others. Thanks, man. Well, we're here. <laughs> We've made it. Ran out of things to say. <laughs> Based as fuck. Oh, you're talking about something else. I thought you were talking about the dialogue the game. I was like, okay. <laughs> I remember their faces as they trembled in fear. I remember their houses and the parties they threw. I remember their songs and their love. <laughs> I remember their touch, their warmth. It's all fading away now, Munchkin. It's fading away. It's all gray, all white, all foggy. I love fog. Personally. Sorry, I don't really know I'm doing this. It is great. I'm just tired. Is it all gone already? I don't see much anymore. You're still here with me, aren't you? You're still here, Stella? Don't you forget about me, please. I don't care about anyone else. Mm -hmm. But you, you don't forget about me, I'm telling you. I'll come back and haunt you if you do. Mm -hmm. I can feel it coming. Goodbye, Stella. Just follow your heart and keep smiling. Mm -hmm. I will. I will, asked her. I never knew you. I'm still sad. I feel like they all like hover upward a little bit when they ascend. What if when <laughs> Bruce and Mickey end up going into the ever door they sink downward it's like oh shit no <laughs> please that's a cool constellation it's like the the least um rep rep what's the word representation it's it's an art term representation whatever um i can't I can't see. There we go. <laughs> cool. Mickey was in the fucking way. And now they're going to leave. You guys are so annoying. Jesus Christ. This is a very pretty flower, by the way. Mickey goes up and Bruce gets dragged down. Alright. Well. Astrid is now gone. Which is really just an awful shame. I fucked it. Okay, well, she said, Kukloxa. She said, Fire Glow and Delicious Powder of Grain. So, not corn flour. Do you just mean like normal flour? Normal boy flour? Wheat flour? I guess I'll go put some wheat in the mill if you're gonna be all cryptic. Whatever. 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 Okay. Not sugar. Is... I never even thought of that. Is sugar cane a grain? Yeah, what kind of plant is sugar cane? It's not a grain. Okay. I was gonna say, it certainly doesn't feel like a grain. I just don't know what kind of, it's stock, juicy stock. Gotcha. I just didn't know, like, I'm not clear on the, like, ta food taxonomy. I got a ton of freaking lip for not knowing what the game arbitrarily considers a savory veggie. Just for me to find Google and to be immediately backed up. My instinct is always to ignore y'all. Cause it said savory veggie, I did a mushroom. People were like, 
Um, the game said savory veggie. Mushrooms are more of a fruity veggie. And then I looked it up on Google. If you look up savory veggie, the first result is mushroom. <laughs> I was like, shut up. Turns out the game wanted me to use potatoes. I think, or it was onion and tomato. Tomato is ridiculous, by the way, for savory veggie. Extremely acidic and not a veggie. Anyway. You can bite it and suck the sugar juice out. Good snack. I want to try that. Mushrooms are like the textbook definition of umami. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we're trying wheat flour now. Another delicious powder of grain. I don't know how delicious wheat flour is. That's why I think this might be wrong. So why would you say delicious, dude? Wheat? Yeah, see, these things aren't even compatible with each other. I just cooked flour by itself. Okay, I hit the wrong button. Well, we're going to get some sad freaking bread. In real life, you'd just get really hot flour, but... Okay. Um, well, we have our, unfortunately, our spirit flower. I'll keep working on the crystal glass sheets, I suppose. We got nothing going on. fun all the children are having fun delicious powder of grain son what are you talking about I think you're prank my ear itches I like when we get these cook a, f a dish quests not only because it's fun to find the ingredients um, but also because e almost every time it'll immediately let you know like hey this is this one's favorite food like how we learned that pork chops were a tool's favorite and I'm sure lox is gonna be Beverly's favorite hooray again Jesus Okay, so corn flour is off the table. Wheat flour is off the table. <sighs> Being rice now. <laughs> this is my last attempt at delicious grain powder of grain. This is my last grain. <laughs> There we go. Uh, let's go somewhere so our milk can get to work. Um, but where to? I don't know. There's. I don't really need... I guess we can just... Make our way over to like... Here-ish. This is where all the happenings are. Ah, uh, no. I should have gone to Albert because we're going to upgrade... bread all right oh wait I need to work on more sheets two more and then we just need three bottles of ectoplasm and we have our next upgrade we also are gonna need the balls I just realized we don't have very many balls do we well maybe I do I don't know yeah we have plenty we're good shut up all right if I was a cow I'd be quiet and polite Alright. One more crystal glass sheet. God damn. I'm gonna eat some cheese, it's okay. Everybody close your ears. This is your warning. Close your ears if you don't want to hear me chew on cheese it's for a little while.
Oh. Done. Cross it off the damn list. That was annoying. Okay. Now I just need this mystery mushroom thing to grow. I have to sing a song for it. I'll do that. I'll do that right now. Grow a little mushroom. Mushrooms. Oh, shit! Oh, I forgot we passed the rocks. Sorry, guys. I thought there was like a serious emergency. Done. Yes! Turnips! Turn up! Yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Shut the fuck up! Sorry. Mushrooms. What the hell even are you? I'm a little freaked out. I, I'm sorry. Wow! You had it so big! Man, look at that cat! Wow. Am I in a garden? Is this a boat? On water? Oh, this is wild. Catch this. I was in the ground. It was in the ground with me. See ya. All right. You know what? I like. I I know. Cook him. <laughs> I I know. This is gonna be a fan favorite. Um. Because for some reason, a lot of you folks, I feel like, have some weird fixation with mushrooms. Um, this dude really fucking freaks me out. Like, like I, I don't know. Something about... What? Do not! Stop! That is my room! Oh my god. But I gotta go to sleep, man. It's sleep time. I need to go. I need to go to bed. Do you want a hug? <laughs> oh, wow. You're good at this. Thanks. Can you leave? Ah, you woke me up. Your room's itchy. I don't like to sleep in here. Well, I have great news for you, Stanley. There are a million other rooms you can be in. Where should I sleep? Guest house. Anywhere. The guest house? Yes. I can make it Stanley's room. Not the purpose of the guest house. I get it. Thanks, big hat. I'm telling you, man, I don't like Stanley. I do not like Stanley. Something about the way he moves. Um, the fact that his resting pose is that uwu finger touch thing. I do not like Stanley. some water. Morning. I should, I should stop. We should stay near Albert. Um, uh, how do I like say it? Cut it out. <laughs> uh, please stop. Let's actually go back over here. Okay. There we go. We're gonna have to pass back through the rocks. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right. Morning. Morning. Oh, I did the bell. Morning time. All right, this is like my last try at this. 
This is my third and final grain flower. I'm giving it another go. Come on, please. Um, rice flour. Is it even an option? It is an option. This is, this is all I have. Um, okay, we've got all the ingredients we need for both upgrades. Well, all I need for the mist cleaner is three bottles of ectoplasm. Apparently, that is directly related to Stanley, so I should probably do as much as I can to get to know him better or advance his story. I don't want to sit on the couch. This is not what I want to do. Um... Um... Uh, okay. You are hungry. What would Stanley like? How about, uh... Some bread. Whoa! Thanks! This is so good. Oh, he's a... Messy eater. Alright. Early theories. Um... This is clearly a young child. That makes it better. Because, like, so far in this game, they've all been adults. So I, th I thought Stanley was just super fucking invasive. Uh, definitely is just a kid. Uh, which is a little bit foreboding. Uh, because of the theming in this game. How did you die, Stanley, at such a young age? Lots of options. None of them are great. This is nice! There's so much room. I can get used to this. Stanley's room is going to be great. Do you need... Okay. Well, um... Can't do that yet. Can't do that yet. Waiting on that. Kind of the whole game right now is halted until Stanley explains to me how to get bottle ectoplasm. So... Anyway... We've done it. It's over. Beverly! What up, man? Got all the spices right. It smells amazing. All right, let me give it a try. My stomach is basically a hot pepper at this point. I can handle it. Um. It's just the right kind of tongue burning. I mean, that's incredible. You haven't lost your way around a kitchen. Wow! I feel my sinus is clearing. Thank you, sweet pea. Suppose I got carried away a bit there. Sorry, there isn't any left for you. Oh, son of a bitch. Don't worry, I'll make it up to you. I know, I know. It's supposed to be a treat for you as well. Next time. Well then. Do you have a minute? So, what you meant by I'll make it up to you is... Um... Make it again. You make it again. Whatever. Don't worry, I'm not a monster. I want to start telling you my dreams. Maybe a little. So in my dream, I was using the projector in the archive room B2522. Then I was transported inside the images. First image was... Let's see. I remember. We went sightseeing in the city. We rented an apartment for the whole family. It was so luxurious. We had the whole week planned out. Museums, parks, restaurants. I forgot I got a blueprint for that. Obviously, Henry got sick on the first day. I remember staying by his side, knitting. The only thing he was able to do was draw. Poor thing. He was really obsessed with this cartoon show back then. It's probably just giant robots and men in tights. The apartment was somewhere in Old Central District. Supposed to be our home away from home for a week at least. Whew. And the whole time I was eating a giant bag of sweet corn. That's dreams for you. You're always a bit foggy. Hopefully you will find that acetate. If you find the acetate, it'll jog my memory a bit more. Thanks again. Huh? Find an acetate in the Old Central District. I forgot about the, like, archive room. Um. Well, then, let's go to the Old Central District. Here's the thing, though. Man. So many places on the map now. And I, I don't know a way to, like... I don't know if there's a way to search or if you really do just have to... Slowly... Try it all. Please don't be up here. Please don't be in this in this ice area. I'm really begging. Okay. 
Uh, is it down here? Yeah, here we go. Old Central District. Um, here we go. All right. Now, what is this? Oh, it was just like a weird lighting glitch. Um, Gustav, are you guys hungry? Yeah, please slowly turn to me. Brother's been asking when we're gonna get fed already. What a pie. Oh, that's not pub food? What the fuck do you mean a pot pie isn't pub food? That's crazy. I hate you. I'm still gonna give you a pot pie. Free grub. Here's a hug. Love you. Love you guys. All right, all right, don't tell anyone. I'm gonna tell everybody. Um. Yeah, well, <laughs> not really much to be done. I see. I don't wanna. I don't wanna like be too clingy towards Stanley. You know, like he just got here. Uh, like I'd like to give him some space. But it is the unfortunate truth that right now our our whole video game <laughs> is hinging on Stanley. So, I got a stretch. I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm looking at my phone for a little. <laughs> I don't know what to do. It's like sin here, man. La la la. I should get some more oil. <laughs> Cause I am trying to do pub food. Oh wait, Mickey. Okay, hold on. I'll get there in a second. I'm just sitting here scrolling through Twitter. Let's uh Let's get some more sunflower oil. All done. Okay, let's uh let's make some French fries, which I assume are just oil and potato, because I know Mickey and, and 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 Bruce are gonna flip their lid over that. Okay. Yay. Um, well, we're here, so I'm gonna go find an acetate, I guess. I need to get bounce. I think I have enough obols now for bounce. I just don't remember where it is. I'll have to just wander around the map until I find a, one of those little shrine logos. Where's the acetate? Oh, I don't care. I need my mind. Dog, you gotta shut up. Oh my god, I just did something. Okay, whatever. <laughs> the shenanigans. I don't think I have the time. Hey, dude. 
You're this rich, it's easy to boss people around. I didn't even have a job and I act like a boss. My father can see me now, he'll be proud. Okay. <laughs> I'm wasting my own time. No, I'm not! Yeah! Cornbread! And amethyst. Um, was that person? Oh, yeah, they were on like the very roof. roof. Alright, bing bong. Who are you? Ooh. Can't feel my face. I've been blinking forever. It's because it's gentle wind. I just knew how to get down from here. Okay. Alright, well, this uh, this building's covered. This is zone 10. So look at everyone down there. Ants. We are giants. I think we are better than them. Dead. Game over. Okay. Well, uh. Gonna keep looking for this acetate, I guess. There's like shit over there. There's shit there. Oh, I already got this one. Um, well. Security. Okay. Try it. See how that goes for you. How do I get up to there, man? Huh. I don't know. Because there's ledges up there. But. I don't know. I'm not trying. Okay. It's fine. Whatever. Um, that's the edge of the old central district. Okay. Well, these two buildings are covered. Um, good. Okay, I must already talk to you. Oh, I need bounce to use that. Well, that's a shame. There's so many treasures here. That's it? Okay, it's definitely one of those ones I can't freaking. There's a zip line. I don't know. I don't, yeah, it doesn't really actually do much for me, it looks like. Yeah. Well. find that shrine. I definitely have enough obols for it. I should can't remember where it is. Oh. Oh my god, Stanley! Thank the lord. Hey, man. Do you want to teach me how to get whatever? Bottles of whatever? <sighs> okay. I thought it wasn't going to let me in. This I can get down with. Look, big hat, I do what you told me. The guest house is now Stanley's room. It's not entirely ready yet. Still need to find a bunch of stuff to make it nice. Wanna help? Yeah. <laughs> what good you? That would be great. I need some linen fabric. I'm making something. I can't tell you what it is. It's a secret. You seem hungry. How about... <laughs> Black coffee. How about some cereal? Wow! Wait. You mind reader? You sure you're not a mind reader? Oh well, okay, I believe you. I love it! I could eat breakfast all day, every day. I'm so glad. Are you in a good mood? That portrait is a lot more aggressive than you are, Stanley. 
Stanley feels bullied by Mickey. <laughs> Dude, everybody on this ship feels bullied by Mickey. New request, big boy's room. Stanley would like a linen fabric. Um, do I not already have one? Oh, I forgot I can just... Hey, man. Um... It's bedtime. Okay. Whatever. We'll go to sleep. It's fine. That was unfortunately timed. It's, at first I was like, how fucking dare you? And then I saw the clock. I was like, oh, okay. La, 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 la. Okay. Before we give Stanley his linen fabric, anything that is labeled with shrine, ash log, olive seed, bovine license, rare chest. Oh, you haven't been there. Shrine, Oxbury. I probably could have guessed that. Let me go ahead. And... All right. Ding dong. Good morning, world. Good morning, period. <laughs> Good morning, Stanley. Why so formal? Um, I have something for you. Linen fabric. Oh, it's a soft kind. Thank you so much, big hat. You're the best. Is it a roof for your fort? You can move him on the ship. I heard a seagull earlier, I think. That is so cool. I think. Might have been a pigeon or my stomach rumbling. But if it was, it's pretty awesome. Alright, well, Stanley's room's done. Uh, <laughs> I need. I still need to find that, which I don't think I can tie a bounce. Fully loaded. Can't. And can't until... Stanley. Dude, we're gonna end the stream with like 3% done. We've done so little. Ugh. Son of a bitch. Can you guys get down so I can see if you're hungry? Thanks. <laughs> God damn, hit the deck. I've uh, got fries. Good stuff, more pub food. Here's a hug as well. Sorry, my fault. At least they're in a great mood. What do you even do when you're in a great mood? Yeah, I know. I'm trying to check on your mood, dude. Um, Harvest's pulsar ore. Says mean things. Ate seafood and didn't like it. When? Whatever. It's fine. It's fine. Totally my fault. Okay. Uh, we're getting that upgrade. Oh! Oh, you haven't eaten in a while, my friend. Uh -huh. Starving here. Am I being dramatic? No, yeah, you are literally starving. Uh, how about something exact? Oh, we have chilaquiles, don't we? Yeah, done. Uh -huh. Nope. Nope. I'm sorry, just give everyone anything uh -huh. fried. Tuna tataki. Ugh. Uh -huh. oh. And a hug. Um. Um, love you, boo. All right, we're going to Oxbury. Getting bounce. Stella's about to get up, dude. Sorry. I do it mindlessly now. I'm also just really hungry. had more than enough for a while. All right, finally bounce. God damn, long overdue. Hooray. There's eight to jump higher on bounce surfaces. Oh, I 
already got up here without it. All right, well, we have bounce now. That's going to open a lot of doors, probably. No, that was not high enough to land onto that. No. Dude, I just, I want to keep going up. That's so long. exciting stuff. There's got to be something in Oxbray I can, some kind of prize I can now get with my, my new bounce ability. Okay, well this is not good. Um, I didn't even know you could do that! Hi sweetie, I'm sorry, you must be extremely touch starved. I didn't know that was an option. Whoops. Love you, baby. Okay. We're gonna go up this way. Uh, I would like to get outside so I can bounce on, on that tank. Oh, I gotta go all the way back down. Care, man. I want with like a doorway out so I can actually. Alright, here we go. God's name. What the hell? Yeah, well, I can't do that. Whatever. 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 We're leaving. We're going back to Old Central. We're getting the rest of them. I dropped another cheese dip. Hit the floor. Damn. Um, up. There we go. I have a letter. I walked past it. It's from Albert. Your valued customer. A bouncy platform. Oh, you doll. I could probably put that in this little gap I have over here, like right. Yeah, right there, and then I can probably like boing if I really want to like get up to the kitchen, like kind of like. Hey, Stanley. Hey, buddy, you want to come outside? Hey, Stanley. What's going on? <laughs> I don't know, man. That's a nice house. Okay, lots of treats to find. 
We're starting from this far left. Shit, now I gotta go back to Oxbury. Cause now I understand how to get to that other one. There's one. Okay. 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 Alright. I think I'm at the max. I'm at the max. Alright, man. Let's talk more walking. You're being a bit of an ass. Okay, well, um... I know there's another one. That one's been got. Where is the acetate? Oh my god. I forgot I already talked to you. Shit, man. So clearly I haven't found everything, but you want a tip? Yes, please. going up. How do I keep... How do I already got this one. I've spoken to these folks. Keep going up. Tops of buildings. Let me start this one. This one's really low. I shouldn't have gone for this one. Yeah, this one. Jump to the left off the top building. Try again. I just happened to somehow miss the one spot where it is. I see, I see, I see it. I see it now. Okay. 
Damn. The last spot. <laughs> Literally. The last spot. Jesus. Alright, we're leaving. God damn. Christ above. Stanley! Oh my god, it's gonna turn nighttime the second I get there. Hi there. Hi, Stanley. Place is missing something. Oh, I know. He's a fancy decoration. He's some awesome a treasure. Something that looks shiny and valuable. Tchotchke, maybe. Anything. A gift, please. Fancy base. Wow, so cool. That's perfect. It's the last finishing touch to my masterpiece. My super special awesome secret room. Can I see it? By the god, but it hides many secret passages and other types of cool stuff. It's my home now. Don't worry, I'll clean all this stuff on the windows. Which reminds me, you had a ghost beetle in there, hiding in your sofa. Probably didn't notice him. It's too dark to navigate. Ghost beetles are very good at hiding. But he's my friend now, and his name is Jacob. He told me he could see things no one else can. Stanley is starting to make me worry. <laughs> Stanley, what does that mean? Jacob is cool. He's got superpowers. Maybe I'll let you play with him someday. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to sleep. I'm gonna wake up, and the whole ship is gonna be on fire. He's gonna be like Jacob told me to. All right. <laughs> Stanley needs to come out of his room now. <laughs> I gotta stretch. Ah. Alright, morning time. Ding. Alright, Stanley, are we ready? Are you ready to show 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 Papa what you made? Okay, well hold on. I gotta activate in the archive room. Good morning. Oh my god, Jesus. Are you hungry? Probably. Uh, what do you like again? I know you love, uh, laksa, yeah. Did it make multiple portions or just one? It's bisque. Have some bisque. <laughs> okay. Anyway, let's project Henry, eight years old. Oh, look. Knitting. Look at that. That's not a giant robot. That's me. I look so young. How, you can glean anything from that? Oh, wow. He's drawing me knitting on that chair. Oh, Henry. Growing up, made such a sweetheart out of him. Before that, he was a little monster. Kind of kid who's noisy when the show is on, but calm during the commercials. One day, he just calmed down. It was strange. Overnight, he became his dad. Brilliant and quiet. Real quiet. He just retreated into his thoughts. What an odd thing to think in your head at night. To uh, dream. Yeah, dream about. Huh. Okay. Um. Stanley? We want to, what would Stanley like? Stanley would like fries. What? <laughs> yeah, okay. French fries! How'd you know? It's my favorite food in the whole world. You're amazing, big hat. Wait, are you a chef? You sure you're not a chef? Cause that's restaurant grade, good food. Yum. Nice and good food. Stanley gives me nice drawings and brings me useless garbage. I can get down both of those things. Oh, see so ya. Yeah. I thought you were gonna take the shit off the wall, Stanley. I'm gonna count. I'm gonna count down from three. A seagull. Ah! All right, well, I'm still freaking waiting on Stanley, man. There's, like, literally nothing else to do. Actually, now there's literally nothing else to do. Except wait for Stanley. Okay, well, let me pull up the Red Sox game, because it's about to start. This is, this is good timing. MLB.TV. There we go. Uh, I'm gonna run into the sea, dude. How are you, Gustav? 
Hug. Oops, my fault. Oh, did you just become hungry in that one moment? You did. That's crazy. How about some bisque? A hug. This meal is nourishing. Okay. How about you? I knitted this for you earlier. It should be nice and warm if the weather ever takes a turn for the worse. Thank you, Beverly. That's extremely kind of you. I'm putting on a hoodie because I just got a little chilly for the first time in my whole life. This never happens! <laughs> Next time I get even slightly cold, I'm gonna do that. I mean, it's like 70 degrees. How cold is your room? Well, I have a fan always pointed right at me blasting because I get hot easily. Stanley. Stanley. Yep. Brother's been asking when we're going to get fed. Right now. I don't know if y'all, anyone here, by, by chance has ever been to a Washington Nationals baseball game where they always start with this thing on the screen and that one announcer guy's like, and it all starts right now. Every game. All right, all right, don't tell anyone. I'll be really surprised if a single viewer here has been to a Nationals game. Going to a basketball, or no, going to a baseball game is like, I think it's a pretty common experience. It's classic, but I don't know how many people are in my area. In this chat. I'm ready to leave. I'm ready to. I'm ready for Stanley. I'm ready for uh, Stanley to come out of his room. What? Yeah, lay it on me. It's because I have the vacation. We can't yet because Stanley. I'm sorry. Been to so many Nats games. Hell yeah. Ugh, oh my god, I literally can't do anything. This is torture. I'm this close to like cracking open What the hell is that phrasing? Cracking open my phone. Either way, I am extremely ready to just Google how to get the ectoplasm, how to get Stanley to hurry up. I'm just going to stand outside Stanley's house and just keep doing this. <sighs> Until he notices. Man, man, man. Uh, Stanley? Dude. Seriously. I love your clubhouse and shit, but... Ugh. Oh. I'm gonna move. <laughs> here's, what, here's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I'll be right with you, Beverly. I have some business to work on. Sorry, Stanley. I just I gotta crush some some rocks if if you're all right with that. <laughs> Ready to come outside? 
He was bullied by me. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't. Let's not. Let's not add myself to the list of people who he feels bullied by. Let me uh put it back. It was funny for a little bit, <laughs> but I'm... okay. Beverly, what's good? I do enjoy being on this boat. I've been wondering, would it be possible to build me a house? Have I not? Oh, okay. This is okay. I was about to say this is another one of one of her slips. Gives a day that I lived on a farm. We had nature all around. We had dogs and goats. This goes to a little farmhouse. It wasn't much, but it was ours. Girl. Oh! A little farmhouse. That's right. It's right there. Well, a job well done once again. Not everyone's good with houses. This is the second instance in this game of old woman with <laughs> with uh, memory problems. Damn, I feel bad. I'm just, I'm used to people in this game being obnoxious, so I, I lashed out immediately. <laughs> I forgot, like, oh, okay, okay. No, she already, okay. Oh my god, Beverly. Oh! An archive room! <laughs> I know what I want to tell you. This man from my town was one of the two real estate agents around. He had just started and wanted to make an impression. He had a giant mustache and was always wearing a tuxedo. It's quite odd. Anyway, it turns out he couldn't sell a house to save his life, but he was the lead salesperson in his district for two years straight. The local paper did a big story on him. They found out that his wife was buying up all the properties. She had like 20 houses in her name. The whole neighborhood was nearly empty. She could afford it. Her dad had struck rich. Her, her dad had struck rich in oil. Just goes to show you. Can't judge it by his... Well then, that's unironically just how I talk, unfortunately. Cause that's just like, unfortunately where my sense of humor is at right now. I'm on a big kick right now of like getting halfway through turns of phrase and then giving up halfway through with like a little like, am I right? I've been doing a lot of like, well, you can lead a horse to water, right? <laughs> this does not apply to the situation. Hey, I mean, when life gives you lemons, man. <laughs> and you just leave it hanging. It's like, I'm like way into it right now. Anyway, I'm ready to, I'm ready for Stanley to, I'm gonna keep waiting outside the door. Ugh, all right, I'm done. I'm Googling how to advance Stanley's. I'm sorry. I, I, cause I'm not gonna spoil his story. I'm not gonna find anything out about him as a person. Stanley, gender male, species mushroom. Those, yeah, I gathered. Call Stella Big Hat. House. Stanley's Playroom. <laughs> Skills. Drawing. Giving useless items. Mini game. Whatever. Favorite food? French fries. Stanley's a spirit character. Okay, I don't want to read anything on like big paragraphs. I just want to advance the story. I am wanting to advance. Okay. It's just a big paragraph of dialogue. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. I think I just got to wait for a little while. And Lord knows I'm good at that. gonna go to bed I can't it doesn't let me call it God night early uh, we're building a bounce pad
Beverly. <sighs> what? <laughs> I'm sorry, I should be more patient. Sweet pea. You probably wonder where I've been lately. Nope, we talked. That's fine. I've been hiding out in my house. Didn't want to come out. It's like in a small town, word gets around. And the gossip starts. The walls are not that thick. Still hear people talking, talking about me. This kind of thing, unwarranted gossip, I mean. Happened all the time back in town. People don't seem to change. One of my good friends was always the nicest to me. She always praised my hairstyle and the way I dressed. Compliments were always coming. This is when I just lost my brother. You remember? I told you that story about it, that sudden brain aneurysm. Poor thing. Dang the dog for a walk, then poof, on the ground. Well, it was around that time. One day I was at her house for a garden party and we had to leave early. My husband wasn't feeling too well. Too many cocktails. He was such a lightweight. Damn. But well, we left quite suddenly, but I had forgotten my purse. I came back not 15 minutes later and from the sidewalk I could hear. While well, she was talking behind my back. Talking about how I wore the same dress the two parties in a row. Said in a very offhanded way. She was stating a fact. Everyone knows that. She should know better than... That's what I remember. The way it made me feel. Yeah, no fun. I didn't like it. This is how I feel now. Nobody likes to be tricked when they're down. Maybe go to New Island to pass time faster. Yeah, bro. That sounds good. Nobody likes to be kicked when they're down. I feel like I'm losing my mind. On top of that, other people on this boat have been talking about me behind my back. Really? I don't want you to put yourself in a delicate situation, but could you help? Maybe do the rounds and see for yourself what's going on. I would appreciate it. Thank you, Sweet Pea. It's definitely Bruce and Mickey being misogynistic. <laughs> it is definitely Bruce and Mickey being misogynistic. Like, I don't even need to, I don't think, make the rounds on this one. I mean... Hey guys, shut the fuck up about Beverly. They're even right next to her house. Don't say a damn word about my friend Beverly. Man, I wonder if it's the resident asshole. Yeah. What? Old Bev? Behind her back? Nah. Never say nothing about nobody. We ain't about to go and snitch. It's a golden rule. You gotta treat your elders with respect. Family is everything. Oh, so so the, so I'm younger than them. That's why I'm getting bullied. Oh, that's why only the young characters have the feels bullied by Mickey thing. Uh, okay, well, I'm going to bed. Yeah, they don't seem like a behind-the-back talker. But yeah, they would be a lot more direct. That's fine. Okay, well, that leaves... That leaves Gustav and Stanley. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Gustav, you're next. Hey, man, are you talking shit? Cosby uh -huh. say about Beverly. Well, Stella, while bad-mouthing and hearsay are sadly deeply rooted parasites of the autistic world, let me reassure you I will not, do not, and never did partake of them. Besides, I'm far too busy with my endeavors. All right, Stanley. <laughs> oh, never mind. Sweet pea. I lied. I didn't sleep well last night. My back was killing me. What are you doing? You busy right now? <sighs> no. Oh! I didn't ask you to do that. I haven't been talking to anyone. Have you been talking behind my back? I don't think they have time for an opinion on me. Are you sure I asked you to do that? It sounds like something you would do on your own. I might go introduce myself now. Hopefully you haven't ruined my reputation by now. Oh, sweet pea. Always trying to help out. <laughs> you know what? I don't know what this says about me that I was getting a little frustrated with it when it was Alice, but something about the way that was delivered, I felt a lot better about that. That was just unironically funny. I think because she was just like, I don't think I asked you to do that, but Alice was like, hey, you're really nosy, you know that? I was like, okay. All right, well, still waiting on Stan the man. Are you hungry, Stanley? No. What's your mood? Very good. Salians were listening to Gustav's fiddle. That's great. Are you and Jacob having fun? Are you drawing? Are you feeling enriched? A gift. Here's some fire glow. 
Don't be shy. Make something extra spicy, please. I will do that, yes. Is spicy a category of food? Like, pub kind of thing? If it, if it is, uh, Beverly would love it. So, I'm going to make some spicy potatoes. Just for you, Beverly. Uh, okay. Spanny's been here for one. Stanley's been here for one day. And he's already talking shit. Yeah, Stanley, you gotta watch yourself, all right? There's an actual mob boss on this boat. Um, I just gave you fries. You like breakfast, so have a... Dude, this is not healthy, what I'm doing. I'm just gonna give him alternating between fries and cereal. My champion. I'm not gonna eat this breakfast. How clever. I can't see your eating animation. Uh, so it looks really scary. From here. It looks like he's like... Like a lion tearing apart a carcass in the Serengeti. What are you doing? <laughs> Where are you going? I will learn how to be captain, so I'm following you. No, you're not. You're not coming out of your room. Granted, I prefer that to you following me everywhere, but... I need... Well, I'm going to fill the, the bouncy pad. I feel like Stanley would be into that. Because it's childish. <laughs> and juvenile. Well, well, well. Looks like someone can't keep her crew happy. Little birdie told me you don't even have a guest house. What kind of ship are you running there? Where's your crew sleep? On the deck? Water splashing all over them? Seagulls pegging their hands? No, no, no. I don't want to hear your excuses. You can get your ducks in order. You don't build them a guest house, they might mutiny. Seen it happen to better captains than you. When Captain fell overboard with a pick sticking out of his back. Fall didn't do him, the piranha sure did. I would like to buy a trampoline. I would like a trampoline. Uh, Miss Cleaner, man. Oh my god, I hate the scrolls I broke. I want that so bad. How do I build like the bounce pad? Wow, oh, 45,000. Um Oh my god, I'm stupid. It just it just transferred the blueprint straight to me. Uh, I never even had to go here. I, he jawed off to me about my crew for nothing. I didn't even have to come. Okay. Uh bouncy. Bouncy. It is actually called bouncy. I said bouncy is a joke. Okay. I need three cotton fabrics and an iron ingot. So, I'm going to do the cotton fabric. Oh, Stanley! <gasps> Stanley, what the hell? You did a great job. Wow. This is actually really cool. It's Jacob. Dude, Stanley. How the fuck did you do this? Wow. Hey, Stella, what do you think of them? You know, the dust shades on the boat? I mean, they're funny looking, but they're so gloomy all the time. Once they're here, they cling to you like chewed gum and never really leave you. What are you talking about? They bother me, you know. I wish they'd be gone. Leave me and everyone sad. What? you never seen them? Oh, that's weird. Oh! I know. Jacob can help you. He can see him, too. He's a ghost beetle, after all. You can bring him with you. He loves when we take him out of his box. You just have to touch the glass and he'll jump out to fly with you. And then you'll see them too. But you have to catch them to make them go away. Careful though, they're super fast. Put on your running shoes. Okay, Stanley is out and about. See you, man. Alright, J Jacob. Let's go, Jacob. Got it. Bitch. Oh, they are fast. Stanley, you are not bullshitting me. How did I, I... I went through a bunch of those. Mine. Mine. Both mine. All three of you. You're... Oh, what? Oh, my God. These are... Ugly. <laughs> they look so devastated. Facial expressions. 
Oh, those three were on top of each other. That's fine. All right, well, I got everything I needed. Thanks, Stanley. Jacob did a great job. See that? They're everywhere. Now that they're gone, I feel like I can breathe again. Did Tyler O'Neill just hit another home run? Holy shit. That ball was farted on. Oh my god. Holy shit, dude. That ball was crushed. I got another distance on that. Sorry. Now they're gone. I feel I can breathe again. Those dust shades are kind of cool, though. They glow and run fast. Real fast. I don't glow. I can't run that fast. Wish I could. One day, maybe. Don't worry, big hit. The dust shades ever come back, I'll tell you right away. If you want to get rid of them, you go touch the glass in my room to wake up. <gasps> Jacob. Uh, are you hungry? No, you're good. All right, we've done it. Miss Cleaner. Holy shit. What? I do enjoy being on this boat. I've been wondering. Would it be possible to build me a house? <laughs> I, like, this really is no laughing matter. This is like a very uh, serious and, and common thing. But, man. <coughs> you remember, kids and David and I lived on a farm. Were there goats? Another home run. Another home run. Tristan Casas, kiss me already. Pardon? Were there goats? We had nature all around. Were there goats? We had dogs and goats. <laughs> it was a cozy little farmhouse. It wasn't much, but it was ours. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go. I'm. I'm gonna go. I went out a friend who cut his own toe. He had a new one made out of rubber. What was his name? Roberto? He was called Roberto. Okay. Boat improvement. Boat improvement. Yes! Mist cleaner 1000. Next one is the moon solo. 60% faster. 8 gold, 28 pine planks, 2 electrum sheets, and a spirit flower. That's... That's for later. <laughs> oh my god, there are... Th I think that's all three things right now. There are three... Look at that. There are three things in the top right. Food is done, and we have two quests. L lay it on me, Beverly. Look, Estella, I know you know something's not right with me. With my memory. With how I can think about things. Can't think the way I used to anymore. It's really hard, but you're here and it helps. You know what? Don't worry about it. Right, so I did remember more of that dream I was telling you about the other day. You know the one with the projector and the sweet corn? That's right. Now when I was looking at my dad's old film negative. It's from when we were stationed in Europe. Oh, when he was stationed in Europe. I don't remember where exactly. He never really talked about his experiences. Did you also date Giovanni? <laughs> he probably was my complete opposite. He didn't mention seeing some beautiful houses. Ah, yeah, I said we should have built our houses in that style. What was the name of that place? Nordweiler? Oh, God. That sounds right. Hopefully you find that acetate to help me remember a bit more. And a gift. It's a key. The Nordweiler house. Hey, big hat. I'm bored. Bored and angry. We never get to play around. It's always so strict on this boat. What do you mean? There are no rules. No one is telling you not to play. You just wandered off on your own and I left. Why don't we have some fun? Why don't we have some fun? What if you could put anything you wanted in those machines? Like the foundry. Yeah. That'd be incredible. Let's throw some junk into it. Maybe an old shoe. Gross, but fun. It's Dr. Splash's strange experiment. Why are you called Dr. Splash? Do you play basketball? Whatever. 
food's done. What was this one? Fire going potato? It's... Oh. Hello, Gobi. Yummy. Alright, well, I'm going to check my mailbox. And then I guess I'll put a shoe in the furnace. Well, hold on. Hey, you. Are you hurt? Are you sick? Are you rich? Come to Overbrook. I don't know. Maybe. Um, we're going to Nordweiler. Now. Follow up question. Where is Nordweiler? Oh, boy. <laughs> I can go here now. Crow's in. Uh, Rogawa. Oh, it's totally going to be in this stupid freaking... Yeah, son of a bitch. Okay. We're going to turn on safe travel mode. We're going to go to Nordweiler the long way. And it'll give me plenty of time to get myself sorted here. Uh, smelt an old shoe. That... that that can be arranged. Do I even have an old shoe? I don't think I do. I think I had one and I sold it because I was like, when am I ever going to need an old shoe? I could do a fish. <laughs> if I so pleased. All right, I guess let's do some fishing then. Let's fish for an old shoe. This is not an old shoe. Shrimp. Shrimp. Holy shrimp paste. Um, I hadn't checked any of the, I don't read I usually don't read the comments on my Sonic Adventure, either the two Sonic Adventure videos, because they're most a lot of them are negative, and it's like it's not one of those things where it's like boo, go hate on them because they're all fair claims. I just get bummed out <laughs> when I read negative comments, so I don't read them very often. But yesterday, I noticed I was getting a ton of um, notifications for new comments on Sonic Adventure Two, like still. I was like, huh, is the video like blowing up? And it wasn't. It had like, the same number of views. What I discovered is that there is a raging 30 reply long debate spanning half a year underneath <laughs> Salmens's <laughs> comment on that video about that one upgrade being misleading. And it's this raging debate of people between saying like, it's really not great game design and then like the other true claim to make, which is Hey, I got this game when I was 10 and I figured it out. Most 10 year olds figure that out. And it's like, yeah, true. <laughs> it was pretty embarrassing. But at the same time, like, regardless of whether or not 10 year olds are figuring it out, I feel like, I feel like that, I feel like it shouldn't really be a debate whether or not that's bad game design. That an upgrade that is required to beat the level is hidden behind a wall so that you can't see if you proceed through the level normally. And there's a big sign pointing away from it. There is a big road sign pointing to the right, and if you instead go to the left and then hop a fence, you get to an, a hidden upgrade that you need to beat the level. And there's a 30 reply long debate about that, and it is so funny to me. Because they're like still people, and they're all like really like paragraph, paragraph long, well thought out points. It's awesome. bedtime shoe come on god damn it all right whatever 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 bedtime we'll find a shoe we'll find a shoe Check on everybody. How are we doing? Um, yeah, I just need to yeah, acetate and Nordweiler. This I need gold for, which I hopefully will find in the gray mist zone. Um 
I just need a shoe for, which I just need to fish up. And then this I can actually go to. So we should do that. Good morning. Good morning, Stanley. Are you hungry, Stanley? Stanley, are you hungry, Stanley? Stanley's not hungry. Are you hungry? You're hungry. How about... How about some alu gobi? Oh, thank you, sweet pea. Oh, it's exotic! Instant warm blanket. I'm so glad. We both needed that. <gasps> Look at that! They're talking! I can't imagine what this conversation would sound like. <laughs> Talk to him. I hate that mushroom kid. <laughs> the second he walks away. What is there about a kitchen on board? Oh, that's, you know what? That's actually clever. I like that. That's funny. How about some fish sticks, man? Uh, oh, I, I, okay. Sorry. <laughs> My friend. Here's a hug. I love you. I consider you my best friend. I think Mickey would love Stanley and Bruce would pretend he hates him, but actually loves him. Who's to say, really? Okay, now. We're in Nordweiler, so let's go find that acetate, I guess. Do y'all know if there's like a more reliable method to get an old shoe besides just hoping you fish one up? I don't know what the chances of it are. Okay, there's an acetate somewhere in this godforsaken place. There's the shrine. I forget what I got here, but it must have been like glide. Oh, zip line. There's lines everywhere. Probably zip line. Francis and who sells them. Done. There we go. That wasn't too hard. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Come on. Come on, man. Tough. Okay. Francis. Bavoli, I got your thing. I'm gonna put it in the archive room. You wanna come watch? Check it, Beverly. It's a film strip. What is that? That view. I love the look of these houses. They're so beautiful. My father was obsessed with architecture. He was a veteran. He went overseas and fell in love with the buildings. Even on the battlefield, he carried his film camera around his neck. He would always be taking pictures. Can you believe that? Despite all the violence and carnage, he still found beauty. Seeing those buildings fall left quite the impact on him. We didn't talk about it much. The war, I mean. Architecture became... Uh, I didn't read that in time. He talked about that all the time. Did I ever tell you that I lost my purse with my address book? Address book? Address book? I say address, but when it's in that phrase, address book sounds nicer. And my mother's brooch. I don't think so. Well, that purse had a photograph inside. I would take it out from... Mm. Let me take a little break. Nice. Learning more about... Over here. Yeah, did you get something for me? Let's go take that... Errands. Done. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Now I would like to sell. I don't have any any goods. Shoot. Done. All right. See you, man. All right. Now. Greymist Peaks. I'm putting a shoe in the foundry, folks. It's happening. All right, it's happening. There we go. Stanley, you want to come watch? Hey, 
It's going to break my foundry. Francis, you want to come watch? Not Francis, Stanley. Jesus. Stanley, you want to come watch? It's glue. <laughs> I refuse to believe <laughs> that that is, that, that is the case. <laughs> I just... I will not stand for it. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, um, where's Greymist Peaks again? Is it here? Yeah. Okay. Uh, there's also Overbrook. We're gonna do. We're gonna take a stop at Overbrook and then we're gonna go to Greymist Peaks. Ta-da! Right, right, right. Okay. Um, well, I made glue. That was incredible, big hat. Now let's get me wackier. Let's go to the loom. Let's play with the crusher. Let's experiment. You know what? I dig that. I like, I, I'm, I'm a fan of the scientific method. Oh, oh, this is so wild. Please, 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 please say yes. Awesome. There's a bunch of junk you can try out. Oh, Jesus. Okay, hold on. <laughs> hold on. Let me do you now. Hey, so I can feel my bones. The season's about to change. Just take a look at these flowers. You don't remember? When we were neighbors, we had these beautiful red anemones in our garden. You looked so surprised when they bloom each springtime. You probably thought it was magic or something. You had the look of, how did they survive all winter? Well, flowers are resilient. You remember that they want to grow, to see the sunlight, to feel its warmth. That's what I like the most about you, sweet pea. You were always the brightest part of my day. Glad we were neighbors. Neighbors. What a funny word. For the others talk about their houses. What's that about? I don't get it. Everybody has their own treehouse just for them? Why go through the trouble? Parents would never go for it. One house for everyone. That makes more sense. Less cleaning. Wait a second. Could I have a house too? Just for me? Okay, 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 okay. I... I need paper. Yes, paper. You gotta find some paper. They're gonna know how to make some. My mom would mix things together to make it. You could do that, couldn't you? Yay, thanks. You're awesome, big hat. What? Okay, you found sawdust and glue. Oh, that's not how my mom would make paper, though. That paper would be half-assed. That's what my mother said sometimes. But you could still combine the two. Might even be better. I don't know. Now you just need to find a way to actually make it. Maybe you could heat it? Yeah, I'll, I'll cook. I'm not in the kitchen. I make mistakes. <laughs> yeah, okay, man. I'll cook sawdust and glue. <laughs> this has been... The last five minutes have been an overwhelming nightmare with Alex's annoying-ass music playing, and I had, like, five quests. That's why you can put sawdust in, in, the, in the kiln. In the, in the oven, I should say. All right. Uh, we're, we're leaving. Jesus. There's so much shit. Okay, we're going to... Oh my god. Alright, we're going to Overbrook. Oh. Hey, Beverly. Did you live in a farmhouse? Oh, no, we're doing this shit again. The weather's changing. We should take a look at the flowers. You don't remember? Okay. Flowers are strong, they remember to feel the sun. That's what I like the most about you. You were always there. I'm glad we were neighbors. Maybe we would find me, find a new place for me to live. Going through the mist. There's a lot going on. You can ask Alex to turn the music off. I felt bad because he seemed upset when I tried. Oh my god, Beverly's already done? Jesus. Still don't have a maximum minimalist clock. Uh, use the crusher to experiment. Use the foundry to have fun. And use the loom to the extreme. Cook sauce to glue. Okay, here's the thing. 
Stanley's arms still freak me out. Something about it um, is it freaks me out. That being said, easily my favorite quest <laughs> in the game. We're in Overbrook. And then we'll finally go camping with Bruce and Mickey. After all this time. I still can't... I can't go as far as to say that Stanley is, like, my favorite character. Because he, he's a lot and he freaks me out a little bit. Uh, but his quests are a great time. That I cannot deny. That ain't good. Oh! I didn't... Uh, it's not... Hey, wait, it's you! Stellars! It's your old pal, Jackie! Coming to the rescue once again, are you? Well, let me tell you, I have no idea what happened. I was hiding. Uh, I mean... I was taking a short break, yeah, from a shift. And then I saw this old beat-up vending machine. Are you a crocodile? Funny how I've never noticed it before. Then as soon as I approached the machine, the whole place got all foggy. Weird stuff, man, weird stuff. Maybe something broke somewhere? Anyway, how much we can do until management sends down a maintenance crew, I guess. Really can't work like that. I can barely see. Top of that machine's almost empty. It looks pretty full. Damn, management probably never refilled it, lazy bumps. The one good thing is I can see... No, the one good thing is that I can see a tasty Choco Blasters. Though I forgot my wallet and my coat up there. Hey, you can maybe get it for me. I swear I'm good for it. I'll pay it back as soon as I can get to my wallet. Snack attack. You left your wallet up. You just said up there. Up where? Use the vending machine at Overbrook. Oh. Oh, oh. He did not get, I meant get it for me. Like, literally just buy. It's one ball. Yeah, I can do that. Choco Blasters. Oh! Jesus. Dude, if I was, like, at my local high school when I was 12 to watch the, like... The Cougars play basketball, and I went to get like an airhead, <laughs> and that shit happened. I would cry and run away. Oh yeah, Chago blasters. Let's blast off. I'll. What the? That was it. Oh, what is? Are you a crocodile? Are you a dragon? What is that? That was all it took. Uh, are you a hyena with a red nose? What the fuck am I looking at? Your music is annoying. Whoa, that was far out. Did you see the machine? It's all glowy and shit. Like that fancy thing you're wearing on your belt. Nice bauble, by the way. Now, how about that Choco Blasters? What? It's already half eaten. What the? This is gross. Never mind that. I'm not hungry anymore. I don't know why. Anyway, seems like whatever was going on is over now. Oh, well. Back to the grind for old Jackie. Hey! No, it could be fun. Tour of the place. You didn't come to Overbrook for nothing, right? Dude. Jackie's music annoys the hell out of me. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just... I'm ready for it to be over. Let Jackie give you the VIP tour. How about it? Yes? I knew it. Always worth a sucker for these kind of things. Teacher's pet and all that. I can read you like an open book, Stellars. I'll brush his hair. All right, all right, let's go. If you get scared, just grab my arm. Yeah. Okay. What are you, dude? Actually, what are you? I like that your flower is like what looks like a chrysanthemum. But, um... Is that a chrysanthemum? I don't know. I don't know flowers. I'm, I'm scared of getting um actually by somebody. That's a Grismondia! Sorry. First stop. So this here is the general admissions wing. It's used for... Hey, that's Jamie! Jamie, hey! Oh, hey, Jackie. What's up? Oh, nothing much, nothing much. Just giving my pal here a tour of the hospital. This is Stella, by the way. Shh, Jamie, don't mention toes, okay? Here, she's got six of them, and she's very sensitive about it. What? Why would that... That's the kind of thing I never understood. Like, if we had six toes, that being, like... If someone brings up toes that that would be like I would I would own it personally anyway oh Stella nice to meet you thanks for telling me I wouldn't want to 
Whoa there, made the lady mad. Relax, Stellars, it's just a goof. It's like flowers and candies and newborn babies. Yeah, that rhymes, does not. Right, Jamie? Oh, uh, right, yes. <laughs> Good one, Jackie, you're all right. Thanks, Jamie, talk to you later. So I bet that I'm kind of a local star around here. They can't get enough of old Jackie. Everyone loves me so much. I suspect some of them are faking their illnesses just to stick around. Uh, stop! Breathing like that. Anyway, let's move on. Oh, so is this a hospital? Okay, well, I don't... Man, Jackie. Man, Jackie. Man, oh man, Jackie, folks. Hey, buddy, what are you up? An orderly, finally. Is anyone working in this hospital? I, it's. I, uh, uh, stop drooling and just do your job. People are hungry and the place is filthy. People are supposed to get healthier here, not sticker. Sicker <laughs> is what I meant. Um, okay. What? Nothing to say? Never mind that guy, Stellars. He's an idiot. Hey, I'm right. Yeah, yeah, moving on. Okay. I'll stick with you, Jackie. This is a dilapidated. It's fine. You believe it? The nerve of this guy. Really, what was that about? I'm out there busting my ass every day, every night. The pay's crap and the hours are worse. On top of all that, I got this entitled shithead all up in my crack with this bullshit. That's the first time I've ever seen Stella do that pose. Place is filthy. Oh no, I'm hungry. What to do? What to do? Do I tell you how to do your job? No. No, I don't, because I have manners. I don't know the first thing about shoveling shit. What? Oh, what's this? It's... Oh, shit. It's in the room of a very special patient. Very troubled. Very difficult. But there's no way up anymore. The ladder probably broke while I was getting a snack. Well, can't do much about that. Not until management gets here, anyway. Oh. She'll be fine for a while. Plus, I could really use the time off. She really is a handful. <sighs> I'll catch up. Doesn't seem like a great attitude to have. And finally, the cafeteria. Always on duty for all your slop needs. Oh, hey, Jackie. Back from break, are you? Oh, yeah, I guess I am. Do you need anything? Mm, well, you see. Wanted to grab a bite here. But apparently, the kitchen's out of supplies. Yeah, figures. I swear, these idiots are just gender. These idiots up there are going to st Oh, fuck it, whatever. I'm sure they're all out on a cruise for a corporate retreat. Hey, don't worry, Jackie's on it. I'm sure you are. Thanks for watching out for us, Jackie. Hey, don't mention it. Well, now, where could I? Oh, Stellars! You always were oh so helpful. You didn't happen to have some kitchen supplies on that big boat of yours. Five bags of rice should do the trick till our next shipment. I'd owe you one. Look at Jackie's portrait, dude. Bring five bags of rice to Jackie. I'll need to grow some. I think we're out of rice. Wow. Elegant. Okay. I'm gonna go to sleep first, though. Alright, we're making it all happen now. Morning time. Alright, let's see here. No. Alright, now. Lots of things have happened. Grandma's Peaks, we're on our way. Sawdust and glue have been cooked. I gotta play around with all my machines. Show me paper! 
Wow, that is not how that would go. I got you paper, son. Stop. That looks exactly like paper. It's even pretty cool. Yes. That'll do it. Just give it to me now. I'm going to draw some blueprints on it. Okay, well, first I'm going to give you uh, a surprise. Only the, it's so difficult to make. Only the best cook can make them. Oh, my God. Look at him, dude. Jesus Christ. You're definitely the best cook on this boat. Thanks, man. Okay, where is paper? paper. That'll work. I have crayons in my house. A bunch of them are hiding in the sofa. Thanks, big hat. I'll start by drawing the nicest blueprints ever. Biggest and most beautiful houses. Maybe someday I could draw buildings for real. Yeah, someday. I got bad news, dude. I think it's implied that you died young. Uh, not even implied. Uh, Beverly needs to go to the Everdoor. How sad. We need five bags of rice. Fuck around with all my machines. And yeah, okay. Okay. Let's go get some rice in the ground. Uh, and then while it's going, growing, we're going to go to Grimus Peaks. All right. Uh, rice, 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 rice. Rice. I only have one. I only have one rice seed. Balls, dude. Okay, well, we're in trouble then. Um, Gustav is starving to death. How about alu gobi? Ah, oh, exotic. Well, how, how nice. All right, we're going to Grey Mist Peaks. Discovery. There's also this, which is obscure canopy. Oh, we needed to go there for something. It was mentioned earlier. I don't remember why or for what reason or... I don't know. It was mentioned, though. Um, okay. Use the crusher to experiment. That's what we're going to start with. <laughs> Make applesauce, I guess. Nope. Uh, how about instead... Um, corn. Corn flour. <laughs> um, how about carrot seeds? Yeah, okay. Well, I had fun. Um, next step, the foundry. Wait, wait, do I need to do foundry? Yeah, uh, we're putting a fish in there, we're putting two fish in. That looks horrific. Stanley is a failed experiment. That seems mean. done two fish cool <laughs> and then I guess I'll just make some more glue <laughs> that is literally crazy that putting a shoe in the foundry gives you glue I refuse to accept that as a truth of this world Stanley, are you watching? Big mistake. What do you mean, big mistake? It was glue. We did it. And then I just gotta use the loom to the extreme. Okay, well, we're gonna go camping. We're gonna go camping. That's what we're going to do, and we're gonna do it. Let's go, man. Come on. Yeah. We're gonna eat some cheese at someone. Close your ears. <laughs> you don't want to hear that. Mm. 
Look, look at that. This is what I'm talking about. The open air. Breathe it in, Scout. That's some good stuff. This reminds me. Should have these. Mickey says he doesn't want his. You can have mine too. You don't need them anymore. Listen. I think we need to rethink your role in our organization. If Mickey doesn't mind, I'm gonna need you to run point on some things. You would have a more involved role, if you know what I mean. I'll fill you in when we get back to the boat. Go do your thing, you mind it. We'll hang back. Two obols. Talk to Bruce and Mickey. Okay. Theodore! Listen, there's no trouble. Every <laughs> you and your friend did my colleague. I don't need the stress. <laughs> Selling goods is our profession. My prices will always reflect your brand. You reflect your brand loyalty towards Raccoon Inc. Give <laughs> rice seeds, peaches. Oh, that's expensive. Garlic, savory, garlic, tomato, onion. Um, yeah. it's terrible. I don't even know how to go back. Um, sorry. <laughs> but I literally don't even know what to tell you. How do I get all the way up to there? Are you guys already done? Okay. Well, I, I want to know how to... There's like shit to do. Oh, here we go. Geyser sights seen trip for years. After I set up game, I realized my perfect behavior prevents me from looking left. What a dumb mistake. Tell me, does the geyser look as impressive as it sounds? Yes. Why'd you tell me? Now I'm even mad I can't see it. Sorry. Already been done here. I just don't miss anything. Anything crush. Let me uh see if I do this if I can get to anything cool over here. Nah. Okay. I'm hitting the trail. Well, we went camping. Lay it on me, Bruce and Mickey. Lay it on me. Like I was saying, you're going to need to step up in the organization. If this operation is ever going to survive, we'll need to pull a big one. A big score. Been playing this job with my brother for a while. Doesn't want to do it now. I need you to step in and help out. So listen, use the take. I need you to stack up on carrots. Yeah, that's right. You heard me. Carrots. I'm not talking about a few. I'm talking about a shitload of carrots. That's the thing we need for this job. That doesn't make sense to you. That's too bad. You don't need to know everything. That's why I call the shots. I bumped my mic like a lot. I'm sure that came through the stream. A hundred carrots. Bruce needs a hundred carrots. Man. Okay. 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 I'll plant your carrots. I only have two carrot seeds. How the hell, dude? All right, whatever, whatever. We're gonna use the loom to the extreme. Well, first of all, we're gonna go to the ever door. Drop off. Bevy Bev. All 
All right, who's ready to use the loom to the extreme? Me. Awesome. Copper ore. <laughs> Again, there is simply no way. That's crazy. I'm waiting for Stanley to come over because I'm sure he wants to see what's happening. All right. Hey, Stanley, hurry. I'm going to put an onion in it. <laughs> okay. Let's do it. It's a leak. No! <laughs> what did you think was going to happen, dude? <laughs> we got lime powder. No! Uh, okay, done. Dr. Stan. A hundred carrots, man. Oops. God damn it, please. Okay. What's up? I'm something my like. I got two things. Oh no. I made so many mistakes. I wouldn't have made that many. My dad would say, don't worry about it too much. That would really make my mom mad. I made no mistakes, you fuck. You gave me an onion to put in the loom, you dummy. Tell me what you would have done. Pick cat. <laughs> I don't know if there are more ghost beetles on your boat. Jacob could have another friend to play with. On the other hand, I like that he's with me. He sees them. They fill me up with sadness. And thanks to Jacob, I can avoid them. One time, one of them bit me on the nose. Did you know that? I switched on the light and he got scared. That's the thing with dust shades. Light scares them big time. That's why they hide in the shadows and no one can see them. And that's why they don't like your belt buckle. It's bursting with light. Okay, Stanley. Uh, we're gonna go to the Everdoor. <laughs> I'm extremely hungry. I'm gonna have to take a food break here. And look at me. I know there's only half an hour left on the street. We're gonna go ahead and hit P A U Z E. Well, I guess. No, nope. S. S. P A U S E. P A U S E. P A U S E. S. S E. Anyway, I need because I'm feeling dizzy. My fourth. I have to eat for a little while, so I'm going to mute. Mute myself.
Okay. Add a little bit. It'll tide me over for the next like 20 minutes. Until I can make myself a, a big lunch. Stella. All right, y'all. Uh, I'm not much sure. I feel like we could honestly. <laughs> okay. This is mean. This is mean spirited. Uh, would one of the mods mind setting up a prediction? Okay, so you can bet plot it's on. Option one is uh, she talks about her house. Option two uh, is she talks about the flowers. And then I guess third option for neither, uh, just in case. So, folks, you can bet your plot it's on this. I feel so terrible that I'm turning this old woman's memory issues into a gambling game. But at the same time, we were, like, drowning in predictions during that Calamity series. And since then, there haven't really been any uh, very many op opportunities for them. So, <gasps> why not, right? All right, predictions out. Talks about house, talks about flowers, doesn't say anything. <laughs> okay. <laughs> They're racking up. I'll give it some more time. I gotta pull the game back up. Here we go. All right, here we go. Moment of truth. Do you remember? Remember those flowers. Congratulations to the folks who bet on flowers. F immediately. Fuck. <laughs> okay. Dude, imagine if if you did that in this conversation. Like she says, remember those flowers? God damn it, Beverly. I can't. Oh, well now it's very sad. I think it's time. Time for me to admit it. I can't go on any longer. You know where we need to go, neighbor? I do. Thank you. Well, now this is really sad. That's okay. I'll wait for Beverly. She takes her time. Oh, she jumped. I don't know why there was no. It's fine. All right, Beverly. Can barely see you over the boat. I I know. I remember. Do you, the neighborhood? I do remember the neighborhood. We, we were there with the flowers. Yes, it was very pretty. We were there in that, that building almost next door, you and me. We were, we were neighbors. That we were. Anything else to say? She was sweet. I'm gonna miss her. She was sweet. Nope, we're out. We're out of things to say. Man, <laughs> God. there is just not a lot going on. I liked her more than Alice. I think I did too. You were always there. There. There for me, Stella. 
That's very sweet. Goodbye, sweet pea. Yeah. <laughs> She's very frail. Be gentle, Stella. Man. <laughs> I'm gonna get accused of putting that in myself. That's a, a guy. I. That's a Twitch feature. <laughs> Promise. All right, Beverly. I enjoyed having you on the ship, truly. It was a pleasure. Birdie. Birdie. Press X. They always have to remind me. Well, no more Beverly's little house. Well, no, we still have the house, but how do I collect? There we go. A very pretty flower. Someone's sleeping loud. It must be Bruce. All right, well, I'm going to bed. Good night. That was the ugliest double play turn I've ever seen, but it worked out. That was so gross. Jesus. Okay. Morning time. Okay. I've got two. Ah, man. A hundred carrots. Uh, rice and find some gold. Rice and find gold. Um, I don't know how I'm going to get all that right. I don't really have very many seeds. I should just look around the map for somewhere that sells rice seeds, I suppose. And carrot seeds. Yeah, like, man, a hundred carrots? A hundred carrots? Man, that's so many carrots. Okay. Well, let's look around. Francis is always there for us. Um... It's gonna be somewhere big that has like a store. Here we go. Rice, le rice seeds. Okay, done. We're going there. I don't know what the prices will look like, but we'll try my best. Um. Okay. Well. Yeah. Carrots, rice, and and gold. Good morning. Good morning, Stanley. Do you do you want? Have um. Run a little low. Um, how about some fish? Whoa, thanks. This is so good. You're in a great mood. Follows you around. Is that a perk? It's fine. It's fine. Uh, Alex, please take me. Please take me this way. Uh, I can't remember. It was here, right? Yeah. Okay. Ding dong. I'm out of water. It's fine. I'm coming up with a storm. I got a volleyball game. Oh. What's wrong, man? Hey, Big Cat, do you have a favorite passenger? I do. Well, I must. Who is my favorite passenger right now? We got Bruce. It's Gustav. My favorite passenger is Gustav. It's Gustav, Stanley. 
Wait, 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 wait. Don't tell me. It's your secret. I have one too. It's my secret. Wait. What if it's the same one? Oh. Oh, oh. Now I kind of have to know. Oh, no. It's going to bug me the whole day. Please tell me. Come on. Wait, no. Don't tell me. Oh, fudge. I shouldn't have said anything. Never mind. Okay. Okay. How are you, Gustav? Are you hungry? You are hungry. Would you like, um... You don't want anything fried. I gave you alu gobi. Um, how about tuna tataki? Yes, amazing. And a hug for my favorite guy. Well, good. They can eat glue. Oh fuck, Stanley! What are you doing in Gustav's house? Okay, well, I I can't access the door. Okay. Um. Oh, is this done? No. It looked finished. Um. Okay. Let's go to the. Let's go to where they sell rice. Neat. Gustav, my man. Carrots are still doing doing what they do. Man, a hundred carrots, really? Really a hundred carrots? How does one do it to go about doing that? Truly. I'm looking at my phone. Okay. We're here. I need rice. I need rice, Theodore. Man, you're really, really gonna make me work for it, huh? Damn, just missed a, a double. Just a little under it. There we go. All right. Uh, lost at sea. Okay, well, yeah, getting that. All right, rice seed. Nice. All right, now let's find somebody who sells carrot seeds. Yes. Street team for the Dice Boys. I'm hungry for them bars. I'm dead ass. Dice Boys are huge here. It's a new record. Okay. 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 I got a vinyl record. I got some rice seeds for free, even. I want that. Dude, what the fudge? Is there anything I can bounce on? Okay, well, I need to find out how to get up there. No, whatever. I don't care anymore. All right, well, I got all the rice seeds in. Now, man, this 100 carrot thing is really blowing my mind, dude. I'm 
I'm gonna raise seeds. Okay. Look what I drew! I did this drawing for you. It's a drawing of Astrid. Astrid doesn't seem to care for Stanley one bit. Did Astrid and Stanley ever overlap even for a moment on this ship? Can I like actually look at it? Let me let me take it into my archive room. No. Hmm. Cool. Oh, let me like get it better. That's a good drawing, Stanley. Um. Yeah. Well. Okay. Let's find some carrot seeds. I guess. Let's find somewhere that sells them. Uh. Store. South specialties. Carrot seed. Here we go. All right. Uh, where am I? I'm right there. Okay. So. Bus stop, and then uh, we'll head over. We'll get some carrot seeds. It'll be great. Everybody's going to love it. I know I will. Okay. Well, yeah, I mean, the rice is growing. We're on the way to the carrots and the gold I just haven't found yet. There we go. Well, yeah, we already have plenty of rice, but I'll... I'll do it all just to be safe. All right, Alex. Take me to where I need to go. I know you have it in you. What is this? Oh, it's okay. That's fine. Um, it's this one, right? Yeah. Okay. Damn straight. I'm leaving. Okay. Um. We're gonna, I don't know how much the carrot seeds are gonna set me back. I don't know how many balls I'm gonna lose. I so many balls, dude. Can't even count with my fingers. 10. <laughs> That's as high as I can get on my fingers. I got a lot of these. There we go. Nice. I don't know how many carrots I get per harvest, so I don't know how many seeds I'll actually need ex explicitly. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this so I can harvest and take note. Three. Three carrots. So, I have... Oh. Talk to Bruce and Mickey. Have they come to their senses and lessened the amount of carrots I need? What is this? What's up, man? How is it? Oh, come on. The job wasn't for carrots. It was for peaches. Who wants stupid carrots? I gotta use carrots for this job. That's stupid. We gotta fix this mistake quickly. Job depends on peaches. Lots of them. Bruce needs peaches now. Man, I gotta like demolish.
That's fine. They should be able to chop down orchard trees. The monster crap is lame. I agree. I wholeheartedly agree. Stanley! Oh, wait, no. I should go ahead and get uh, something in the ground. Do I have peach seeds or do I have to go buy one? I have to go buy one. Okay. I know at one point on this stream. Um, that's such a good pitch. I know at one point on the stream we passed by somewhere that was selling peach, peach seeds. Probably means it was in this bottom area. Olive sugar cane. Probably up here, right? No, that's mulberry. Um, here. Yeah, okay. Um, on, on I get. Stanley! What do you need, man? Whatever you need, I'm, I'm ready for it. Big hat! Yes, sir. Okay, I need a... I don't know how to say that. You know, a... I don't know. What? You know what that is? How could it be? It's super popular and normal. Everyone has them lying around in the kitchen. Everyone loves them. Oh, come on. You're making fun of me. I don't like when people make fun of me. Look, I've been dreaming about it. I need it. How do you say Is it a... Is that like supposed to be like a Japanese word or is it just like fake and age? <laughs> it's probably Japanese. It's gotta be. Mysterious word. I'm gonna say fake and age because it's funny. He's Stanley of fake and age. Plastic lemon. Uh, a lot of failed experiments. All right, well, I'm leaving. Stanley, you can do whatever you want. I really, truly don't know what you are trying to tell me. I just don't. Okay, Bruce needs peaches. I don't know what that is. Improve. Yeah, we don't have any gold. And then rice is in progress. God, Alex, your music. Jesus Christ. Yeah, leave that asshole behind. I don't want to hear music anymore. Good morning. Stanley, you want to give me, like, any hints on what the fuck that word means? At all? Would you mind? Good morning. I'd like to buy eight thousand each. I'm good for it. That's all my money. It's <sighs> a lot of cash, man.
What up? Big hat! You don't have a, a faking haze yet. It's usually white and round and hard. We have it at breakfast all the time. I love it with toast. Yeah, let's, oh, an egg. I, I, I do not have an egg. I never built a chicken coop. All right, well. Guess the time is is finally here. I gotta build a chicken coop. Um, I need five copper. Okay. Five copper bars. Stella. What? Sometimes I could not sleep. I had these nightmares. All the people at school were there. My mom and dad were there. Everyone kept shouting, fall, fall, fall. Then I could only see the sky. There was wind in my hair and I woke up. I'm scared and I wake up, my bed is always wet. <laughs> okay, dude. My mom doesn't like that. All right, well, Stanley pisses himself. What's up, man? You still looking for those damn peaches? What are you doing all day? That person needs a dedicated cook. Oh yeah, you're actually starving to death. How about some fish sticks? Oh, there you go. I'm so glad. Um, let's look for gold. So we can get Gustav. Love you, boo. So we can get Gustav's gallery up and running. Um, maybe here? Obscure canopy? I'll try anything at this point. Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> I don't know, man. I haven't fed Gustav in a while. Uh, how about... Pie. Cool. Alright, well, um... Oh, I gotta go build my chicken coop. Mickey. What? Okay. I'm gonna go build my chicken, chicken coop. I don't know where it's gonna go, because for a while we were like sorting all the uh, animal stuff next to each other over here. It's no longer feasible. That works out nice. Obscure canopy. I see rock formations. Here's this thing. Uh, I can I can put things in it to feed them seeds. Lots of corn seeds. There you go. Don't have any chickens. So I guess I need to go find some eggs. Um, we'll see who's, I'm sure somebody somewhere sells some eggs. Let's go to Obscure Canopy. How's that? Also, if anyone sells eggs, I'll just buy an egg and give it to Stanley. I don't think I need a chicken coop long term. If I do, it's it's there. I have it. So I'm trying to get every last drop of water out of this cup. I'm stone. Oh my god, pine trees. Gotta wait for the cat. Uh oh. 
Okay. That's new. Well. Neat. Young person. That's me! You stopped. Good for you, youngster. Barry is my name. Uh, well, you don't have a cool silhouette, so I don't really care. I was on a hike looking for berries. There's nothing here. Which is odd. Berries grow almost everywhere. When I walk, I always stop to pick up berries. I always leave some. <gasps> Jesus. Animals need to eat, too. I'm on the other side of life, and I have time to take hikes. For days, eat berries. Ooh. Only like strawberries, blueberries, and raspberries. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Sounds good, man. You have a good one, alright. Uh, any like rock formations for me? Do some. Look at that. Look at all those carrots! I don't need them anymore, but hey! Okay, that, I need to get there. Need to get up there. What the fuck? Why didn't it let me mantle up onto that? Whatever, it's fine. This is what I'm after. Ugh, oh, amazing. Gold ore. I also need pine, so I would like to get up to that tree. This will do. Oh god, it's gonna do the thing again. <laughs> yep. Make your way, my friend. Come on. There you go. Good job. Um, I need to get to one of those turtles and I'll just do the saw back and forth is that not what I'm doing whatever um I'll plant some uh, more pine trees how are oh. you leave me alone please I need my fresh air okay um all right well I want to try one more time to get up onto that ledge that I feel like I definitely should have been able to. Alright. Here we go. Like, like, whatever. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, we're leaving. Let's make our way over to one of the turtles. Stat. Can it pee? Can it pee? <laughs> More like. <laughs> right? I'm watching the baseball right now. Ooh, that is a. Ooh. Ooh, that's a rough one to take. That was middle, middle. Um, okay, well, I've got a little gold. I need a, uh, a, uh, for one gold sheet, and then I need four ingots, so five total. Um, so in that case, as long as I have more than five, I can go ahead and, uh, I can go ahead and smell one of them. And I can finally build Gustav's, uh, whatever. Whatever he's looking for. Clock. Maximum minimalist clock. Tear it up, son. Tear it up. Um. 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 Foundry. Jesus. Christ. 
Okay, I have seven. Yes. This will leave me with two that I can put on the turtle. Oh, this is so annoying. Oh my god, really? Gold. All right, now I think I can make uh, Gustav's thing. This is huge. I'm in a great mood. Improve Gustav's gallery. Maximum. Minim oh, 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 oh. Oh, I need an additional gold ingot. I need four. Not nugget. I misspelled it in, on my paper. So I needed to do all five at once. Oh, isn't that just swell? Isn't that just swell? We're doing it again. We're doing it again. My favorite mini game. Everybody's favorite mini game. Uh, we're doing it again. I didn't realize how far over we are. I like zoned out. We're 13 minutes over. Oh my god. That's the first time that's ever happened. That I've uh, that I've like gotten this far into like over a stream without realizing. Alright, well. No, no, I wasn't high enough to Okay. You're done there. All right. See you later then. See you. Okay. Um. Let's make our sheet. Upgrade Gustav's gallery and then call it a stream. I need a copper. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. This foundry is going to kill me. Rose gold sheet. And then we'll upgrade the gallery and then we'll save and then we'll see our progress. Jesus. 
really gonna make me work for it. There we go. My guess is 61%. My guess, 56. I think it's gonna be so much lower than I think. Even though, I, after all we did, I'm guessing it's gonna be like 6%. <laughs> okay. Uh, improve. Gustav, the clock! God damn. Okay. Save and quit. All right, gamble. Let's go. Let's do it. Last thing we do for the stream. We'll do one more prediction. <laughs> what was the percent before? We it was, at the start of the stream we were at 50 50 flat. To do the prediction <laughs> on top of just putting your thing in the chat. Locked in. After everything we did today, we didn't even get 10%. <laughs> oh my God, Yeesh. Okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. We'll be back next week. More Stardew Valley on Tuesday, more Sonic 06 on Friday, more Spirit Fair on Sunday. Get hyped. New video will be out probably either tomorrow or the day after. So, watch that as well. Alright, folks. Thanks for coming. Appreciate it. I'm going to have lunch and play volleyball. Alright. Bye, team. <laughs>